All right, kids, it's the old guy again, the cartoony, guitar-y guy, or musician, or whatever. I've been playing guitar and ukulele, at least, whatever. Buckle in. It's going to probably be a little bit of a longer one here today. Um, this is vlog 278. I had to look that up. I apologize. It's been close to six months since I've done one of these. Um, just to kind of clue you in. I, I don't know. I usually don't do these unless I have something to talk about. But I feel a little guilty that I should at least, uh, you know, check in. And you know, you know, I'm alive and well. Um, I'm now sitting at Glen Hall Park, which is in the neighborhood of River Park. I'm here by the old one of the baseball fields, the only one that's left out here. It's all it's gone to seed, though. I don't know if you saw that. I used to play a uh, ball here when I was 13 and 14, and then um, when I was 15, I played at uh, ESAC Senior League over. Uh, over by uh, St. Mary's Church and St. Francis School and Phoebe Hurst. There's three schools there, and our field is right behind them. Anyway, that's, that's a lot right there. It's stump pack for useless information. Anyway, yeah, this, this is, uh, they've really changed a lot here in Sacramento. Um, for those of you that, now I got, this is, this is one of my gripes here. I got a, uh, a handful of, what do you call them, messages? like four or five five or six messages on facebook and, and one facebook post asking me how do i like living in sacramento and when i said to each one i responded it was what i thought their responses were kind of negative they were like oh i hate that place oh it's one person called it it's just flat and smoggy and blah 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 and yeah, you know, I just didn't respond to most of them. It's just like hate. Let's let haters hate. You know, I don't have the same relationship with a town that they have. Uh, and the, and I kept pointing out, I don't live in Sacramento. I don't. I, I live in Citrus Heights. I'm closer to Roseville. You know, um, I'm right next to Placer County line. So it's it's I'm out there. But I do work in town. Got a new gig, by the way. Uh, same gig, different school. Uh, case any of my pals from Luther Burbank see this, I, I didn't leave Luther Burbank because I didn't like it there. Actually, I didn't mind at all, and I enjoyed the people I worked with and you know, got to know the place. It was nice, but it's too far. I just spend more time in traffic. I was you know, in traffic and at work more than I was at home, it felt like, so I got hired at a middle school which I start this coming Monday here in town in fact it's in East Sacramento so it's it's like a 25 minute commute I'm sorry I'm looking around a lot but yeah I'm in a, a park and there's all sorts of people hoofing it around here and I just don't want them walking through and what have you uh yeah so that that's coming up um uh let's see there's there's an art show I'm not doing like I said I'm not doing a lot of art uh I did do a piece, a Willie Mays piece, on a paper bag, a shopping bag, uh, from a, a show that's being curated in San Francisco for the Us for Us Foundation, which uh, services underprivileged children and uh, school kids. And there's 150 artists, 150 paper bags. Each one of us, you know, did an art piece. I did mine in Willie Mays. My piece is called Say Hey. And I, to challenge myself, I did it all with one pen. I did it with a, a 0 0.3 pen. Yeah, a lot of line work. I actually switched hands a few times through it. I'm a bit ambidextrous, so, you know, when my right hand was starting to die, I threw it in my left hand. It was, <laughs> that kind of went pretty quick, too. Neither here there. I hope you can check it out. It's on August 31st. Um, you could check my, uh, my social media, IG, whatever. I put it up there. I might do it again. Um, I can't remember where it's on Guerrero Street in the city. Um, unfortunately, I won't be there. Uh, I can't make it. I'll be busy doing other work, basically, so and resting. So there you go. But I hope you can attend. Uh, it's for a great cause. Uh, that's that's my little blurb, my little piece. Um, uh, I guess we're we're in some funny times. I I occasionally hop online. I'm not on there as much as. I've noticed most people, because when I go on there, I could see that they posted you know, 100 billion times, it seems like. But, uh, you know, the two things that seem to be raging on there right now is uh, uh, the upcoming election. You know, I've noticed 
school friends from high school that are battling it out with each other online about, oh, you're an idiot for being a Democrat. Oh, you're an idiot for being a Republican. And, you know, I, I just, I, I don't get involved. I just scroll past it. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm smart enough to know not to jump in on something like that. And also that, you know, neither party gives a shit about me. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but I am not a CEO at any corporation, so I don't, I don't count. Um, maybe you do. I know I don't. Um, but I, I, I avoid all that stuff. And the other thing was the big uh, uh, controversy was the Olympics. And not so much of who should have won or this country or that, but it was like the events they had. Uh, some of the people were offended by the, the opening ceremonies. Um, uh, I've been to France. I've been to Paris four different times. It's that to me, it was like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the French. That's how they do it, man. They do it up big and, and pretty artsy. Uh, I couldn't care less, you know. And uh, then they complained about uh, why do they have break dancing and, you know, why do they have this and that. And it's, you know, you don't have to watch it, man. You know, you just don't have to watch it. Who cares? You know, is it really that offensive? Is it really that appalling? I find it amusing, but... It's not worth getting in arguments over, you know. Again, who cares? You know, I did see the meme or whatever of the the Australian woman. Uh, I'm trying to remember she had a name, Ray Gun. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. That was pretty funny. Um, you know, I was thinking, boy, she might be the Australian Andy Kaufman. I don't know if that was serious or what. But anyway, yeah, you know, again. Social media, you know, I work at schools where kids are glued to their phones. Oh, the TikTok videos alone make me nuts. Um, but I see adults do it. I, I'm at parks. I see young dads on their phones while they're like swinging a kid, but they're staring at their phone. They're vaguely, it's just like a kind of vaguely physically with their kid, but they're checked out. And I don't mean just I've seen this once or twice. I've already seen it here, walking in here watching moms and dads walking their kids in the, the high end uh, with a big bicycle wheel, uh, baby strollers, and they got their phones. They're, they're doing their phones. I don't know. It's like, really? You know, people just can't be alone with their thoughts. I mean, hell, you're probably watching me right now on your, your phone, your iPad, or your computer. Uh, I don't tell you. Um, after I post this, I'm done. I won't, I won't even look at it. So I might look, I'll look at the responses if I get any eventually. Um, I do have chores and errands to do today, so that'll be kind of off, off the page. But anyway, I'm now starting to ramble some more, and I think I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, like I said, that's about the only artwork I've done. I am playing some music by myself. Uh, I'm not doing much. Uh, I was trying to get a band together this summer. It just didn't work out. Uh, my buddy Marty, who I grew up with here in town, he still is here in town, uh, great great musician excellent bass player but you know he's got a lot of musical endeavors going he wanted to get something going with me too but it's at this age it's hard to find people so and then get a place to rehearse and you know and then getting everybody on the same page of like what do you want to do with this and so ah, i'm just i'm back playing solo stuff so a lot of the metal body guitars and a lot of slide open tuning e stuff and yeah, even busted out the ukuleles and yeah yeah so we'll see. If I play anywhere, I'll let you know so you can avoid it. <laughs> Man, this is, wow, we nine minutes of boredom. Okay, everybody, I'll let you go. You can go back and look at your memes of, of the Australian break dancers or, you know, argue over politics. And me, myself, I am going to go to the post office and then go home and work on things. All right, y'all. Uh, hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good week. Comment below if you have anything to say. If not, it's all good. Take care. Bye.